This video demonstrates how to do basic edits in GarageBand version 10.0.0, which was released this week in October 2013. To trim a track, position the pointer near the end or beginning of the track and drag it to the length requ required. It's important to uh, position the, the cursor so it's in the bottom part of the track that you're changing, not in the top, which is a different function when you have that symbol. And notice when I'm dragging it around it's tending to jump from one position to another indicating that I've got the grid um, on. If I want to turn the grid off I press command G, that's G for golf, command G and so now I've switched that grid off and I can adjust it to uh, any, any size that I want. But I'll put the grid back on again, I think that's a bit easier to work with in most situations. Um, if I bring up the score editor, which I do by pressing N for November, I get a different sort of grid, which is sort of the note grid. And here I can set that to uh, different types of note, note sizes and positions, and I can use that for repositioning these notes um, in the score editor. Uh, to do zooming, I press uh, command uh, right arrow to uh, zoom in there. Command left arrow to uh, zoom out. Now within the score editor, I uh, I have to use this uh, device on the right to do my scoring. Um, but if I'm in the piano roll editor, I can go back to using my arrows. Command right arrow to zoom in. Command left arrow to zoom out. Now to split a track, I select the track that I want to want to split. And, uh, and then I press uh, the uh, T button wrong. I had to position my playhead where I want it and then press T. doesn't seem to work. I think it might be because I've got arrangements showing. Let's get rid of that. Wait arrangement track. Now I'll try pressing command T. Did I leave out command? Not sure. Anyway, command T for tango splits a track. Uh, to uh, cycle a section, I've got this button, which I can also activate with uh, C for Charlie. I can uh, take my cycle, adjust the length of it. Then when I press the space bar, it'll uh, keep cycling through that, that small section. Turn, turn that off. To rename a region, uh, select it and press Shift N for November and uh, put in the, new, the name for it. Uh, to uh, put in a, a marker, I want to put in the, uh, I press uh, Shift Command A for Alpha, which puts this arrangement section in. Press the plus arrow and I can uh, then set, set my marker, it basically uh, gets, gets to have a name. Press the plus arrow gives me another one. And I'm sort of positioning at the end where I want it to, to mark a particular point, and I can, uh, you know, give it whatever marker name that I want. Um, to join selected regions, uh, select the, the regions. Shift click on the second one, and then. Uh, press command J for Juliet in order to, to join them and I think that works for notes as well. Uh, to do a crossfade, my understanding of a crossfade is that I want to gradually decrease the volume and then gradually increase the volume. Uh, so to uh, bring that about I'm going to uh, click on this part, it's adjusting volume, click on the new line that's appeared till it becomes brighter and position, click on it to uh, get my dots and then, then I can have a particular region uh, stop. So that's my quick demonstration of the basic edits in GarageBand.